Hi, my name is Subhat Savic. I'm a systems engineer here at Confluent. And today I want to show you two new, really cool Confluent security components for your Kafka environment. So let's start. First component, role-based access control. Following situation, you have your critical data in your Kafka environment. You want to protect it. You want to grant privileges to users, hopefully groups. And if you have many users, this is pretty tough. And in the case that you're using another Confluent platform components like schema registry or KSQL, makes the situation much more difficult. And this is exactly where role-based access control comes into the game. It's a central platform for authentication and authorization for your whole Kafka environment. And the really cool stuff is that you can integrate your role-based access control with the existing user store LDAP directory. In my case, it's Microsoft Active Directory. I have here two users, Max, who is part of the Data.io project group, and Suvaj, who is part of the M3D developers. And what I have done is I mapped these two groups to role-based access control specific roles so that these groups can access only project-related data. So let's see if Suvaj is now accessing his topics, he should then see only M3D topics, as you can see. And if Max is accessing his topics from his project, he see only data IO projects data. So in, in the case that I now, for example, um, changing Suvad from one team to another, he is just um, moving from one team to another, from M3D to data IO. Let's do this now. He should be then able only to see then the data IO project data and the M3D data should be then actually, or the privilege should be then revoked. So let's see if that is working now. I'm executing the same statement again. And indeed he has access only to data IO project data. And the cool thing is that this works for whole Confluent platform components. The second really cool Confluent security components is secret protection. We have this, typically this um, problem that we have in our property files, sensitive data like username or passwords in the case. For example, here in my case, it's uh, password Suvad, username Suvad, and this is the parameter here, cells JS config. And this is exactly where secret protection now comes into the game. It encrypts this uh, sensitive data in the property files. I'm just defining here which parameter I want to encrypt, execute it, and now if I reopen this file again, the data is encrypted. And if I execute again my statement, all the other tools are still working with this encrypted data. And the really cool point is that secret protection is working not only with the Confluent platform property files, but also with all the other property files in your company. That's it for today. Hopefully the session was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.